Welcome to Florida. Here you will find crackheads, alligators, stupid criminals, hurricanes, and worst of all, Disney adults. Today we'll be looking at 20 absurd and hilarious news stories that have come out of my home state. Florida man arrested while wearing I Have Drugs t-shirt. This 50 year old man named John Balmer was arrested at a Kmart due to possessing weed and meth. He was most likely searched because of, you know, the obnoxious shirt he had on at the time. It reads, who needs drugs? No seriously, I have drugs. This photo would soon be posted on the Facebook page of the local sheriff's office. Florida man sets up table in the middle of the road and began eating pancakes. For a lighthearted prank, 21 year old Kieran Thomas walked into the street and set up a foldable television table and chair. Here he began eating a full course breakfast of scrambled eggs, bacon, pancakes, and even some syrup to go on with that. Kieran of course ignored the vehicles he blocked and even waved at them, which is a Chad move if you ask me. He would of course be arrested soon after. Florida man denies drinking and driving, says he only swigged bourbon at stop signs. A resident of Vera Beach called 911 reporting that a fellow driver had tapped her bumper in a McDonald's drive through It was quickly figured out that this was the doing of 69-year-old Earl Stevens, who was soon stopped by police. Immediately, it was noticed that he reeked of alcohol, though he denied being drunk. He admitted to only drinking at traffic lights, having a sip of bourbon at each stop. Earl would then attempt the sobriety test, and a breathalyzer found his blood alcohol level to be twice the legal amount. Once arrested, it was found that his license was suspended, just adding to the list of oncoming charges. Florida man awakens to find an intruder sucking his toes. A since unnamed man woke up on Christmas Eve to find some random ass motherfucker sucking on his digits. He immediately freaked out and tried to fight the guy, who then attempted to touch his genitals. He threatened the man by saying he had a gun, leading to the toe sucker to evade him. He contacted the authorities soon after, to which no suspect was ever found. Probably Dan Schneider if you ask me. Florida man stuffs a chainsaw down his pants. Here's footage of 27 year old Anthony Bowler trying to steal a chainsaw by lodging it in his trousers. The staff soon notice it and chase him down as he leaves a store on his bike. The deadly weapon slows him down so he ditches it in a wooded area to make his getaway. 30 minutes later he tried coming back to the store with the saw to return it but was caught by police. Anthony should be lucky that the chainsaw never turned on while in his pants. Florida man finds crabs defaced with anti-Hillary messaging. Brandon Morse, a contributor of RedState.com and various other political sites, posted pictures of some crabs he found while fishing in Tampa Bay. On top of the crustacean was Sharpie writing which reads, Hillary is a lying bitch. This refers to Hillary Clinton of course, as this occurred in the 2016 presidential election. Either someone went through the efforts of catching crabs and writing this on all of them, or the crabs are starting a political revolution. If it's the latter, all power to them. Florida man caught posting bomb making tutorials online. 32 year old Romeo Xavier Langhorn was a huge supporter of the terrorist organization ISIS, so much so that he wanted to create newer videos for them about the construction and use of explosives. Romeo even began chatting with someone who claimed to be an ISIS representative, but turns out this was an undercover FBI agent who watches every post. Romeo wanted to publicly post these tutorials thinking that making them as educational videos would allow them to be posted to big social media sites without repercussions. After posting these to an unnamed site, he was arrested in November 2018, finally being charged over a year later. He is currently serving a 20 year prison sentence. Florida man steals 850 pairs of underwear from Victoria's Secret. Yes, you heard that right, 850. Well, this was actually done between three different incursions, with 18 year old Daniel Espinoza and a second suspect. All three grand thefts occurred in November 2013, with over $15,000 worth of panties being stolen during these incidents. The only motive to this crime seems to be reselling, as it was said Daniel had almost no money in his bank account. Florida man finally finds his long lost 18 foot long banana. Taking a quick detour from discussing dumbass criminals is this heartwarming tale of a man finding the love of his life. Orlando artist Justin Skipper was driving of his 18 foot long cardboard banana in the back of his pickup truck. When it began raining, so he left it under a pavilion at Wadeview Park and left for work, returning to pick it up later. But when Skip returned, the majestic fruit was gone. Many in the area had spotted the banana there, leading to one woman thinking it was abandoned. She used it for a child's minion themed birthday party and returned it once learning of its owner. Florida man thought to have stolen all the chicken nuggets at Burger King. 
18-year-old John Correa decided to tweet this photo of multiple frozen bags of chicken nuggets, implying he stole them all on his last day of working at Burger King. He was even kind enough to stack them in the passenger seat and put the seatbelt on. <laughs> what a good Samaritan. It turns out though that he didn't quit his job and still worked there. These were nuggets he was supposed to pick up from another location, posting the photo to troll everyone. Florida man roams the beach dressed as a Grim Reaper. In response to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis reopening beaches during the heat of COVID, one man decided to take action. This wasn't through any conventional means of protest though, but instead by dressing up as the symbol of death and lurching over patrons at the beach near Destin. Many took photos of the supposed random dude holding a scythe while lurking about, but this wasn't an ordinary Florida man, instead being Daniel Ulfelder. Dan is a local lawyer and activist who wanted to warn others of how dangerous it was to reopen places so soon. Did his weird plan work? <laughs> nah, not really, this is Florida. Florida man claims intruders use holograms to kidnap his wife. Since unnamed doofus believe that multiple men broke into his house and used holographic technology to project signals on his wall. Signals to make him do whatever they wanted and to communicate with each other. The ultimate goal apparently was to kidnap his wife. When police arrived, the man was holding a baseball bat, clearly paranoid. It was very easily discovered that the woman was not taken and instead found drunk in an aunt's mobile home. It turns out both of them were high on meth. The man was seen patrolling the streets of a gun while his lady was digging for gold in the dirt. Florida man starts fire to quell complaints about his masturbation habits. 58-year-old Kenneth Haskins got constant complaints from neighbors at his apartment complex due to masturbating in front of open windows in his front door. So to get revenge, he decided to light the whole complex up. He dumped flammable liquid across his kitchen and bedroom, igniting it and soon escaping. The fire quickly spread, but luckily nobody was injured. Though, due to the damage, four people were left homeless. Kenneth was soon arrested and admitted to what he had done. Florida man crashes his car while trying to time travel. An unnamed man from Pensacola sped up to a strip mall in the middle of the night, allegedly to open some sort of time portal. Instead, he crashed through the front door of an advanced tax services store and then through the walls of another store known as the Pensacola Caskets. There wasn't anyone inside these buildings, meaning nobody, not even the driver, was injured. He was then detained and tried to rationally explain his Back to the Future plan to the police. They were not amused. Florida Man Throws an Alligator Through a Wendy's drive through Window If you're familiar with Florida Man's stories, and you've most likely heard this one before, but it's so spectacular that I had to include it on this list. This is when some whack job named Joshua James, who picked up a gator on the side of the road and headed to a Wendy's restaurant. He pulled up to the drive-thru and placed his order, got his drink, and grabbed the three and a half foot long reptile. He chucked it at the employees via the window, though nobody was hurt. Josh was arrested and given some well-deserved criminal charges, such as aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He was also ordered to stay away from animals. Florida Man harbors multiple zoo animals in his apartment. 20-year-old Cedric Price was a keeper at the local Santa Fe College teaching zoo. One day he just decided, you know what, I'm going to steal these animals. And that's what he did. He stole a bunch of smaller animals from the location and held them at his apartment for almost a week. Seven in total were taken. A skink, two red-foot tortoises, three box turtles, and a squirrel monkey. Florida Man is arrested while a monkey clings to his back. Yep, that's a photo of one Cody Blake Hessian being arrested for stealing a car and crashing it into a ditch. Seen on his back is his pet capuchin monkey, Monk, who is wearing a diaper and has a leash on him. You can find a full 8 minute clip of the police interrogating him as Monk moves all over his back. A woman even comes up and accuses Cody of stealing her car. It also came up that Cody didn't have a license for his furry friend, believing he didn't need one based on the info his breeder gave him. His breeder was from South Carolina, explaining the illogical thought process here. Cody was arrested, while Monk got a happy ending, being sent to the local sanctuary. Florida man caught stealing an entire power pole. Two shirtless 40-year-old men by the names of Victor Appeler and Blake Waller went out in the town during the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. On the side of a road was a light pole, flopped over due to the storm. So, with a clear lack of common sense, both morons began lifting the pole up and onto the roof of their SUV. They planned to sell parts from the pole as scrap metal, something Victor had done multiple times before. But they were arrested and charged with grand theft, with the mugshots getting memed on for a while. 
Lord Man tries to break into a Space Force base to warn of an intergalactic war. 29-year-old lunatic Cordy Johnson had a bizarre thought come to his head one day, one so strong that he just had to let people know of it. He soon stole a truck and soon drove all the way over to the Patrick Space Force base with a message from the President of the United States. It was about a potential war between the US aliens and the Chinese dragons, which sounds like something Biden would think. He was caught before being able to break in, meaning those darn dragons may very well take over this world. If only we listen to Cory. Florida Man abducts a scientist so that he can make his dog immortal. Easily the greatest and most heartwarming story ever told is the tale of one Philip Joseph. He wished for his prized dog to live forever, so he resorted to kidnapping a scientist at the University of South Florida. The family of Ryan Lockhart soon alerted authorities of his capture, leading to his quick discovery. Philip had his plans foiled, 